My final point concerns the issue of appointments of members to the ECB Executive Board. This is an important issue. I am well aware of the European Parliament's call for the Eurogroup or Council providing short lists of candidates, and I do understand the reason behind this request. The selection process is, as you know, clearly specified in the treaty, and that includes the involvement of the different institutions in a specific sequence. There is no scope nor legal grounds for improvisation here. On my part, I have chosen to be fully transparent about the candidacies that are put forward by the Euro Area Member States. These are communicated shortly after the deadline for propo proposing candidates closes. I am also aware of the European Parliament having repeatedly stressed the importance of improving the gender balance. I am very much, I very much share this concern and point this out to finance ministers each time I launch a call for candidates in the Eurogroup. I am optimistic, though, that member states will take the issue of gender balance very seriously in future appointments. This cycle of ECB leadership goes in the direction of a more balanced composition, and I do hope that the European Parliament is able to acknowledge and encourage this process that we all consider important to fulfill and strengthen in the future. Thank you for your attention.